Okay, so now we have the probability uh, for success for the attacker and all different scenarios. And we're going to use these probabilities uh, as uh, the probability for uh, all the branches on our tree diagram. So my goal is to complete this table right here. Now the easiest battle is a one-on-one. -on -one. All right, so before we get to that, I just want to review uh, a simple tree diagram so make sure we're all on the same page. Now to start a tree diagram we need a bunch of branches. Now in this example we're gonna just have two branches but we could have many branches, three, five, a hundred. Alright so I have these two branches and if you go up the branch you go to you follow A. If you go down that branch we go to B. Now each one of those has a probability associated with it so branch A has a probability of 0.4 and so that means branch B has to be 0.6 because the branches have to add up to 1. Now from branch A or B we can then have another set of branches. Again these branches could be 2, 5, 100 but in this case we're just going to do 2 again. Now after you've passed A or B we can go up or down and again another set of branches now if we go up we're going to go up branch C and we can go down to branch D or go down along branch D again each one of these has a probability associated with it so C has a probability of 0.26 and D has a probability of 0.74 so if I had the question what is the probability of A and C what we would do is multiply through the branches of A and C and when we multiply 0.4 times 0.26 we get 0.104 so that is the probability of A and C now what if I wanted to know the probability of just C so you can go up A and then C or you can go down B and then up C so we have two ways of getting through to our uh, C so we can multiply through branch A to branch C, which we've already done, which is 0.4 times 0.26, which is 0.104. Or you can multiply through branch B, then C. So that's 0.6 times 0.26, which is 0.156. And then you would just add those two probabilities together because both of them lead to C, where, we, where we're trying to get to. Now when we add them together, we're going to get 0.26. Okay, now we're going to start a battle. And this is the easiest battle. It's a one-on-one -on -one battle. Now you're going to have parentheses. And in the parentheses, the first number represents the number of units the attacker has. And the second number is the number of units or armies that the defender has. So here's a one-on-one. -on -one. Now what happens is you can either win one so this is with the kind of the perspective of the attacker you can win one which means that the second number should be zero because now this the defender has no more armies and that probability was 15 over 36 we saw that in the previous video now you could lose this bat or this round uh, which means that uh, with a probability of 21 over 36 which means now the first number in my set of parentheses is zero because the attacker has no more now the probability of then winning this one-on-one -on -one battle you follow the branches that lead to a win and there's only one branch that leads to a win and that probability is 15 over 36 so this is the easiest battle alright so now I'm going to put that probability in our table and we'll keep going with creating uh, some more tree diagrams okay now we move on to a two-on-one battle so the attacker has two armies so he's gonna roll two dice and the defender has only one army so they can defend with one die now in this scenario you can win your round which means you can win one army or once well, yeah you can win one where the defender then loses an army so you can see a zero here and that has a probability of 125 over 216 you can lose one we have the probability of 91 over 216 and now notice that you, your attackers units have gone down by one but we're not done yet alright we need another round because nobody has actually won the battle 
So you would set up another tree diagram where you can win one with the probability of 15 over 36 or you can lose with a probability of 21 over 36. The problem is is we've already done that. This right there the probability of uh, winning the one-on-one -on -one battle was 0.41667. Now if I already know the probability of a battle I can then just use a straight line and write the probability there. And now I can multiply through those two branches and I get 0.17554. Now remember if I went up that branch I already won so there was a probability of winning uh, which was 0 0.757870. What you're going to do is you're going to add these two because in this tree diagram these two branches lead to the attacker's success. So we add them together and we get 0.75424. So I'm going to put that in the table and let's move on to the three on one. Now the attacker has three units so they're going to roll three dice. The defender still has only one. Now we can win one. Now the probability from the previous video to win one in a three on one ba uh, round was 0.65972. And now, if you win the one, the defender has lost his, his unit and the game is over, or the round is over. Now you can lose one, which means you're now down at a two on one. So the probability of losing was 0 0.34028. Now from this point on, you can keep going with the tree diagram. But the thing is, is you've already done it. You already know the probability of winning a two on one battle, which was 0.75. 424. We just did that a moment ago. So we're going to multiply through those branches and we get 0.25665. So we add these two numbers together because both of them lead, lead to success and our probability of winning a three on one battle is 0.91637. So we're going to toss that in the table and move on. A one on two battle. So the attacker is attacking with one die, but the defender has two dice, so two armies. So you can win one, which means you reduce the defender's army by one, so now we're left with a one-on-one -on -one battle. The, you can lose one, and has a probability of 0 0.75, 74537. Again, I'm getting all of those probabilities from that table. And then if you win or lose that, then you have no more armies and the game is over or the round is over actually the battle is over but you still have the chance up here now we already know what the probability of winning a one-on-one -on -one battle is so we're going to multiply those two together and we get 0 0.10610 so the probability of winning a one-on-two -on -two battle is very small 10 percent so we're going to toss that in the table all right a two-on-two -two battle all right, there's actually three branches here because you can win two of them because you're both rolling two dice. So you can win two with that probability, for again, from the table. Uh, now, if you win this branch, the round is over and the battle is over because the defender has no more units. You can lose both of those. Uh, now has that probability, again, from the table. And now the game is over or the round is over because you have no more units as the attacker. Or you both can lose one, which means one person won one die, the other person won the other die, and has that probability. So what we're going to do is we already know the probability of a one-on-one -on -one battle, okay, so we can finish that off, and the probability is 0 0.13503. Now we know that that's the probability of winning that one, and that branch leads to success already that branch led to success the bottom branch led to a loss so we don't add anything from that add those two together there's our probability of a two on two All right, and we're gonna do one more the three on two so the three on two we have three branches you can win two of them and then the defender has no more armies you can lose two which means you still have one army left the defender still has two and you can go one on one so that you lose one the defender loses one now we know the probability of winning a two on one battle and so multiply through and get 0.25326 we already know the probability of winning a one on two battle is very small but it was 
a little over 10%. We multiply through those branches and we get 0.03104. Now this branch actually was done because again in that branch the game, the round, was over. So we add that number, that number, and this number. Add those together and that's our probability of a 3 on 2. Uh, that should say 3. And that's 0.65596. We're going to toss that in the table. So you can see how this does take quite a bit of time. So what happens if I wanted to know the probability of winning a 6 on 4? Well, to give you an idea of how complicated that is, here is a tree diagram of the 6 on 4, all the different ways that that game can play out. And actually notice that the tree diagram isn't finished, because in cases like this where it's a 3 on 1, I just stopped because I already know the probability of a 3 on 1 just like I know the probability of a 1 on 2. So in the next video we're going to work up to figuring out the probability of a 6 on 4 by completing this table.